let us come to the presence of God this uh, evening for uh, this special uh, Bible study of the book of Hebrews. And I know that uh, you all are I mean, very happy and very... Uh, uh, eh? Sorry. Oh, I, I, <laughs> okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's uh, I mean, book of Revelation. And let's all I mean, uh, join to your study uh, about the book of Revelation. So I'm just I'm standing there only, so I'll come back. Okay, uh, you know, uh, how many of you uh, remember that uh, what was the, what was the uh, previous portion that we were uh, we were uh, discussing in the in the past, I mean, previous class? Uh, it was uh, I think uh, it was purpose of the book. Okay, it was the purpose of the book, and uh, I still remember that uh, you have the idea about uh, uh, some of the purpose of the uh, book of Revelation. What was the first one? To be ready for the coming of Jesus. To be ready for the coming of Jesus. That was the first purpose of this book of Revelation. And second purpose was to encourage the ministers and the believers of those churches. To encourage uh, uh, the ministers and the believers of those churches means the seven churches uh, uh, which was going through a, a, a difficult situation and many persecutions. So that was that was one of the I mean purpose of uh, uh, writing this book. And the third one was uh, to face the challenges. They were having many challenges in their churches. So uh, that was one of the uh, the other purpose of uh, uh, writing this book: the face uh, to face the challenges. And also uh, the fourth. I mean, purpose was to defend them from the false teaching, to defend from, uh, uh, fr defend them from the uh, false teachings. And uh, it is very clear that you know uh, there were many uh, false teachings in uh, in that seven churches, uh, especially in some of the churches. We will be uh, going through that portion when we are entering into the chapters. So uh, there were many many. Uh, false teaching and they entered into, inside the church and they were just uh, trying to I mean uh, 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 just uh, divert the people uh, from the from the uh, real faith of the Bible and real faith of the Christianity so that is the one reason that uh, Apostle John was trying to I mean write this uh, uh, letter to uh, these uh, churches uh, at the same time uh, uh, let me know how many of you have did your homework I gave you two homeworks, and the, the, the first one was the, uh, uh, who can say the, the, the order of the books of the New Testament. So let me know how many of you are ready for that. For the first. Uh, okay, okay. Now I can see. I was not able to see you. Lift your hands. How many are ready for the books of the, the, the order of the books of New Testament? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, ten. Okay. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. You know, I know that you have learned. And is it, is it, I mean, after the after the first Bible study you learned, or is it before before that? <laughs> you might be knowing that uh, even uh, before the class also. But anyway, anyway, I'm thankful to God for uh, all of you and uh, the, the the other ones also. You can also uh, learn the Old Testament also. You know, we have no time to ask all those. I mean, to to recite all those things. But still, I mean, uh, you can you can learn it later. Okay, so uh, God bless you. And keep it up, and God bless you. And uh, the second one, what was the, what was the second uh, uh, second uh, homework? What you know about the author of this book? What you know about the author of this book? How many of you, uh, how many of you did that one? The second second homework. 
two, three, four, five. One more, one more time. Lift your hands. What do you know about? Not only the name, okay? Some of the details from the Bible, okay? Uh, yeah, Divya, if you know something, can you share something about uh, uh, Apostle John, the, the the writer of this uh, uh, this uh, 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 sorry uh, this book? So. I just read a little bit. So he was one of the disciples. His brother was James and he, John. Uh, and James were the first two disciples who were uh, picked by uh, Jesus Christ. And uh, he wrote uh, the three book of John and the book, uh, the book of the gospel of John and the first two, one, two, three, John. And uh, he doesn't in the book of john the he doesn't mention himself he always says uh, uh as a third person and uh, i know that he he is also referred to as uh, john of uh, patmos because he was uh, exiled to patmos and um, um and even uh, during when um uh, he, uh, Peter, James, and John were the ones uh, who went with Christ to pray on the mountain. He uh, and they, he asked them to wait. So I believe, uh, like he said, he was one of the favorites of Jesus Christ. And uh, in the end, he was one of the um, disciples who was not uh, actually. Um, uh, what do you say? He died. He he was not executed uh, like the others. He died uh, a natural death. So that's what I know about him. Very good, very good, Divya. So uh, God bless you and uh, uh, keep it up. And uh, you know, I know many of you have already done the homework and uh, you are ready to say that all those things. But uh, uh, because of the lack of time, I will just uh, I mean tell you something. Okay, whatever you said is correct, and uh, uh, some more things I will add with that, and uh, some of the references also, because uh, if you are getting the references, you will be able to uh, make it uh, very clear, and you will understand very clear. It's very easy. Uh, he was a, he was one of the tall uh, uh, apostles of uh, 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 Jesus Christ, and uh, son of uh, Zebedee and brother of James. In his early life, he was a he was a fisherman, and he was one of the uh, inner circle of three. Who were at the raising of uh, Jairus' daughter uh, at, the, at, at the Transfiguration also, and in Gethsemane also we can see him. And uh, in his own uh, gospel, he refers to himself as the uh, disciple uh, uh, whom Jesus loved. Okay, so uh, the, uh, there uh, are frequent references to uh, him that at the at the crucifixion and the resurrection also. You know, I will give you some some of the verses about uh, uh, this. Uh, I mean, Apostle John talking about and uh, that is Acts chapter 3 verse 1, Acts chapter 3 verse 1, then uh, uh, Acts chapter 11 verse 4, Acts chapter 3 verse 1 and Acts chapter 11 verse 4 and uh, I mean, uh, uh, okay, uh, then chapter 8, Acts chapter 8 verse 14, chapter 8 verse 14, okay. And also Galatians chapter 2, verse 9. Galatians chapter 2, verse 9. Okay. You know, uh, Paul refers to, uh, to his meeting with him in Jerusalem in Galatians chapter 2, verse 9. And also we read here in Revelation chapter 1, verse 9. Uh, Revelation chapter 1, verse 9. John himself uh, tells of his banishment to Patmos. So he was banished to Patmos, and uh, he is talking about here in Revelation chapter 1, verse uh, uh, 9. And after which the Bible is silent about his whereabouts. Okay, so nothing is written after the after the banishment of uh, Apostle John to the uh, uh, island of I mean Patmos. Okay, so these are the uh, 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 main points about I mean. Uh, uh, Apostle John, the, the author of this book. Now, uh, uh, now we will come to, uh, we, today we are going to 
I may speak something about uh, the importance of the letters or the epistles. The importance of the letters or the epistles. The importance of the letters or epistles. So I, I'm, 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 I'm just I mean, trying to uh, give you uh, some ideas about the, what is the importance of the letter uh, when, when a person is writing to the other person. You know, uh, we will go and look into it. And uh, at the same time, uh, how many books are there in the New Testament? Who can say the answer? How many books are there in the New Testament? No answer? 27. Yes, 27. And uh, how many epistles or letters are there in the New Testament? Epistles again. How many epistles or letters are there in the New Testament? Seven. Nine. Seven. Nine. I'm not talking about uh, uh, the, the epistles of uh, uh, Apostle Paul, but as working the total epistles or total letters. Uh, in the in the New Testament. It is 21. It is 21. Okay. 21. 21. And it starts from the book of Romans uh, till the, 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 the epistle of Jude. Romans to Jude, there are 21 epistles. Or you can call it as a lecture also. And how many, I mean, how many Gospels are there? Four. Four. Four Gospels. Out of these 27 uh, books in the New Testament, 21 epistles are there. Then one, I mean, four, four Gospels are there. And one historical book is there. Which is that? One historical book in the New Testament. Hebrew? Hebrew? No. Book of Acts. Book of Acts. Book of Acts. Book of Acts. Very good. Then one more. One prophetical book. Book of Revelation. <laughs> book of Revelation. Okay. So that's the that's the reason that the totally there are 27 books. We'll come to, back to the, the point. The point is what is the importance of the letter? What is the importance of the letter? When a person is writing a letter to other person. What is the importance of that? You know, uh, there are 21 letters in the uh, New Testament. That means, I mean, uh, letters of Paul is there and letters of Titus is there and James, I mean, and Peter and Apostle John and Jude. All these people wrote many epistles to the different churches, different churches. Okay. So majority of the books of New Testament are letters. We have to understand out of the 27, only six are not known as the letters or epistles. So the majority of, that means 21, are known as the letters. From there itself, we can understand what is the importance of a letter than the other things. Okay, so now we have to understand one thing. Letters were so precious in the, in the olden time. But now we have all the modern technologies and communi of communication and everything. We have many things to communicate to the people. Okay, so uh, now it doesn't mean that okay uh, we are in a, we are in a situation that we cannot write a letter. But here we understand the olden time letters were so precious, and uh, whenever a person is receiving a letter, I mean they were so happy. They were so happy to read that and to to know the things, that, to know the news. That is the only way that they can they can know the the news from that place. Okay, for, for my uh, personal experience, I can share with you. When I was studying in the Bible College, you know, sometimes I feel uh, uh, this homesickness or uh, uh, because nobody was to I mean support me and nobody was to help me. Uh, even though we have I have my I mean uh, household people and my family is there, but at the same time, I was just I mean uh, feeling lonely. And uh, uh, sometimes, you know, uh, one letter will come from my home when I was in Bible, when I was studying in Bible college. So I was so I was feeling so I mean uh, uh, homesick and all. So uh, I used to get one letter from home. I, when I uh, when I received that letter, I'm so happy and 
I mean, uh, uh, we, I'll be reading all those things, you know. Uh, that, that is my, my situation, you know. And uh, at the same time, uh, one of my uncle, uh, he, is in, he is in Coimbatore. He used to come to the Bible College for a, for a particular meeting uh, every, every Tuesday. So I used to wait for him. You know, when he is coming, when my uncle is coming for that meeting every week uh, for, for Tuesday, I think. Okay, when he is coming, he'll come and meet me. So I'll be, uh, even though sitting inside the class, I'll be looking up outside and uh, I'll be looking uh, whether my uncle is coming or not. Uh, because I was so eager to see him, not only see him, and uh, he will give me the news. And also he will give me some, some, some amount of money, maybe uh, 50 rupees or something. 50 rupees? <laughs> 50 rupees means maybe I mean, less than one dollar. So getting less than one dollar there in India, 50 rupees was, it was a great thing. So I was just waiting for that because there, there is nobody to help me. So that was the situation. Okay. So uh, even, you know, uh, uh, we still keep the letters of uh, uh, my sister, uh, you know, Jessie Mama. My sister's name is Jessie Mama. She, she is in Tennessee. So we still keep that letters when we were receiving that latest maybe 20 or 25 years before. Okay, still, we have the letter. And you know, uh, let me tell you one thing. So whenever we receive a letter in those days, nowadays, it's not a, it's not a matter at all. But in those days, whenever we, we, we get a I mean, letter, we were so happy. So that's the same thing is happening here also. You know, the seven churches, they were, I mean, I mean undergoing severe persecution. So they were going through severe persecution by the Roman Empire. So when they received this letter of comfort and the encouragement, they were so excited. And they said, hey, uh, our, our dear brother John is writing from Patmos, even though uh, he is alone there and in a panic situation. You know, when this John is writing the letter to those people, those who were going through the severe persecutions, those people were saying, the churches were saying, Oh, our, our dear brother John is writing a letter from Patmos. Even though he is he is alone there and he is in a panic situation, he cannot go from there and he is, he is in a is in a tough situation. Even though he is writing the letter, so they were so happy to receive the letter of Apostle John. I mean, so and even you know, Bible scholars say that mm. there are there are many uh, grammatical mistakes in this letter. There are many grammatical uh, mistakes in this uh, letter. And that, is, that just means the letters uh, to the seven churches in Asia Minor. That means nobody will be bothered about the grammar when he is writing a letter to his close ones. When he is, when he is in urgency or in emergent, uh, emergent 